It's the end of the line for the Dodge Challenger and Charger. They've had a heck of a tire destroying run and there are a ton of great varieties, trims, color options, and power levels we've seen along the way. But before the mighty duo disappear, surely to return electrified, the team at Mopar has one final say in the matter. There's one more final, finally, final, we think, last call version to talk about. So this video is tougher to make than you think. Not because I'm choked up about the car disappearing or anything, it's because Dodge has given us two measly images of the cars. No B-roll video, no close-up detail shots, and nothing on the inside, but that's fine. I can do this. The Dodge Charger and Challenger get a final limited edition model dubbed the Mopar 23. This is the first time that Mopar is able to deliver two matched models from its factory customization program, and both of them look pretty great. We start with RT or Scat Pack wide body cars. That means you have the excellent 6.4 liter Hemi V8 sitting under the hood. Pure, naturally aspirated horsepower arrived to the tune of 485. And I do believe that the 392 is the best sounding V8 in the family. That supercharged Hellcat wine is a blast, sure, but the 392 on its own sounds better. On the Challenger, the six-speed manual is the standard gearbox, while the Charger arrives with the eight-speed automatic. And that eight-speed is available on the Challenger if you don't want to bang your own gears. Under the skin, both cars get the Bilstein three-mode adaptive dampers that are tuned by the SRT engineers to deliver almost shocking cornering ability from what are otherwise muscled up burnout boats. Beyond the front wheels, you'll find a set of Brembo six piston front calipers while the rear stoppers get four pistons and the calipers are painted Mopar blue. Speaking of Mopar blue, you'll find it splashed all over the exterior of the car. The main exterior color is pitch black clear coat. That's accented with a matte black center stripe, but then that gets further accented by the Mopar blue stripe on the hood, roof, and deck lid. The grill badge also gets the blue hue. And I mentioned the brake calipers before, but you can view them by peering through the 20 by 11 forged aluminum wheels wearing insane 305 section width tires. Slide inside and you'll find carbon fiber and suede trim all over the place. The headliner is suede too, but there are some other luxuries as well since the steering wheel gets power tilt and telescope, plus it's heated. The front seats are heated and ventilated and the cars are fitted with the upgraded Alpine sound system. The Harman Kardon sound system they offer is better, but the Alpine system is an upgrade over the base system for sure. Each car gets a serial number and a metal certificate of authenticity. And these are limited run models, of course. Dodge will build just 220 examples of each with 200 for the US market and 20 for Canada. The price for the package is $3,995 added to the cost of the Challenger RT or Charger Scatback wide body cars, which is around 55 or 57,000 respectively. And of course that's before the almost certain dealer markup that will be applied. If you're interested though, head to your local dealer to talk about ordering one. Production starts in September and the car should arrive in October. And hey Dodge, more pics next time, please. Thanks.